So Logan, following a disappointing loss away to Dewsbury Rams, first of all, what's the mood like in camp? Uh, first day back at training, so we've not been in yet, so we've not really got a judge of the mood as of yet. But after the chain, uh, in the changing rooms after the game, it was not tense, but very disappointed uh, in each other. Really, I think it was maybe a bit of a well, it was a game that we should be winning, uh, and I don't think it was anything technical. I think they just challenged us and we didn't rise to it. So it was a bit frustrating after the game, but. I try and not speak too much after a game because emotions are still running high and I think you can, you might say something, not that you'd regret, but you might say something a bit out of context. So we'll, uh, we'll look through a bit of video tonight and then we'll probably have a bit of an honest discussion with people and see where we can right a few wrongs. Conditions were tough out there, obviously a uh, Sunday, Sunday night game. Did you feel like Jewsbury just handled those conditions a, a little better than you? Yeah. The conditions were tough with the field and the weather and stuff, but I think you're just making excuses. It's the same for both teams. Like uh, I know they might be used to the grass pitch and things like that, but that's part of being a good team. You can go to any, any place with any pitch and play well. Uh, they, they did handle it well, but I think the main thing was they just challenged us, uh, especially through the middle, and we just didn't rise to it. They didn't play anything fancy. If you watch the game back, it was just challenging us, as in running straight, and I think there was just a bit more... Uh, enthusiastic and I think that showed in their performance and we ended up chasing the game and it got to about the last probably 15 minutes of a game where we was behind for us to actually start showing a little bit of aggression and things like that well that's that's the sort of things that we'll address this week and you know we'll see why these things happened and we'll hopefully make a you know a bit of an improvement this week. Late on there were a couple of half chances where maybe the, the ball went to ground and the pass didn't stick and there was a few errors that crept in how frustrating is that when you're chasing a game and, and things just don't seem to be going your way? Yeah, it is frustrating, but you've just hit the nail on the head with chasing the game from the off. I think the way that we started the game probably set a platform. And if, if you start a game well, them half chances might come off, but we was already chasing a game that, you know, the first 20 minutes of a game is, is important. And we've been guilty of starting games really well, maybe falling off a little bit and then coming back in the second half. But... I don't think we started well against Dewsbury and I think that just showed in the rest of the game. Uh, so them half chances could have, you know, if we executed them, we could have won and could have said a lot of things. But the things that might have led to them chances being blown was what we did in the first 20 minutes. So we might have done a little bit more defending and took a little bit more energy out of us, which then affects your decision making and you know, your execution in effect. So. Yeah, I think it, it's our own fault. I think we beat ourselves, no disrespect to Dewsbury, but I think we did beat ourselves more than probably Dewsbury beat us. Despite the weather and obviously the later kick-off time, the, the fans travelled down it in great numbers again. How, how disappointed were, were you and the rest of the lads that you couldn't repay that faith with the win? Yeah, you, you begin to feel guilty. and uh, it's Because people have given up. No, it's a full day. And, well, not full day, like half a day, but like they're leaving the roses and it's freezing cold and and the, they're going there just to support you on you know they're paying the hard earned money and we just dished up a performance that was nowhere near our standard and uh, yeah you start to feel guilty so we, we made sure we went over to the fans and uh, said hello and stuff thanks for coming but that's you know, the least we could do really the way we can really repay them is getting these performances and you know we need it for ourselves but we need it for our fans as well because if they start to lose faith you know it only takes a couple of them to think oh I'll not bother going this week I'd rather stay in and you know that can have a knock-on effect and you know it affects us because uh, obviously you're not getting the same support. On to this week Whitehaven come down here on Sunday is it a case of putting the weekend's performance behind you and out your mind or, or do you use that as motivation to respond? Uh, a bit of both Sometimes you need to draw a line under something. As long as you write it the next week, uh, you can draw a line under it. But we've already had a couple of bad performances, so I think we can't completely underline this one. Uh, we need to, you know, look at it from a different point of view. But we, we need to learn how to play in this league. I think because any team can beat anyone, providing one doesn't show up. There's probably no such thing as, you know, the best, you know, the top four, top five, top six. Because like we've shown, we've put some good performances in, and then put some really average ones in. So we will use it as some motivation, but we just need to treat this game as in as if it's going to be like our last game that we'll ever play. And we do need to put everything everything that we got wrong last time, we need to put that right this week. 
And I think that's just the way it is going to be for us. Like We can't concentrate on anything until we win this game at weekend. Whitehaven, a, a newly promoted side, so have you got to be worried that they'll come here and with a bit of an attitude of nothing to lose and just throw everything at you? Yeah, exactly that. The teams that have got nothing to lose tend to play better because they're desperate. And uh, it can just be little things, 50-50 things in a game, like if a ball drops on the floor and they're more desperate to get it, they'll probably get it, you know, if they're putting their bodies on the line. And I think we need to get that desperation. I think we will have it after having a performance like that. Everyone will be desperate to prove themselves to Tim. And to be honest with himself, like, to think if you put your best performance in, so, you know, you don't want to leave anything to after the game and Tim's questioning you because I think a bit of our honesty might be questioned after last game. It, Tim might ask some serious questions to some people. So I think you just can't leave yourself open to that. If you give you 100% in every game, you know, some things might not come off, but, you know, as long as you're trying, then we can live with that. You know, you might drop a ball every now and again. You, you might do something wrong. You might do a forward pass, but it's not through lack of trying. It's just, you know, some things do happen. You mentioned uh, there's been a, a couple of performances that you're not happy with, but given how early on in the season we are, are you confident that as a squad you can you can make those improvements and come up with a response? Yeah, everyone has the down days. I think just a couple of people too many had down days, which then affects the whole, whole team. Uh, we will improve from it. Yeah, it's still these early days and we've got a lot to learn. We're, we're a relatively new team and a lot of us haven't played in this league before. And Jack Owen said something about, uh, he said after the game, he said, we need to learn how to play in this league and learn it quick. And by that, he means if you don't show up, you know, they might, someone better, might be considered as a, a lower league, you know, low, lower table team. But if you don't show up with the right attitude, they will beat you. So it's, you know, in Super League, once upon a time, you had teams that would just win no matter what, really. One or two one or two teams would probably win most games, but in this in this league, you can't show up like that just thinking we'll just scrape a win today because you probably won't. So, yeah, it's early days, so we're not fretting too much, but we've, we've just got a bit of, a few honest conversations to have with each other and uh, I think we'll be better for it.